Hello, this is Perry Peacock of Wilderness Innovation. I'm here today to uh, talk to you about water. And, uh, this stream right behind me, uh, this time of year in the spring, is, is, uh, runs pretty heavy. But uh, a little bit later in the summer and the fall, there will hardly be a trickle back here. But uh, one of the key things is not just having water, but having good, clean, pure water to be able to drink. And uh, so that's what I want to talk to you about today, is uh, purifying water. And in particular, I want to talk to you about purifying water using the sun. And it's called solar disinfecting, disinfecting or SOTUS. So it's solar disinfecting or SOTUS is the, uh, uh, for short. So let's talk to you about what you need to do to uh, do that. Okay. Now we've got some water out of the stream here, and uh, it's not crystal clear like you would uh, see regular drinking water, but this is actually pretty clean. But there's a way you can test this water to see if it's clear enough to be able to use for this technique, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so here's how you tell if the water is clear enough for this method to work. We set the bottle looking down through the bottle on some printing that's about newspaper headline size and if you can make out the wording in there then the, the water is clear enough. If not then it needs to be run through a strainer to uh, uh, clear up the water a little bit. The key thing is the water needs to be as clear as you can free of debris and cloudiness. All right, now let's talk about uh, what bottles you can use for this process. Uh, basically, any uh, clear beverage bottle, uh, like a Coke bottle like this, made out of PET plastic, um, or your regular standard water bottles, bottle like, like this, or Evian water, or any of those kind of things. All right, so basically what we need to do is uh, take the label off. That's what you want. Just want a nice clear bottle. Um, one thing you want to look for is you don't want it to be too scratched and scuffed up. So you want to handle it a little bit carefully if you can. The UVA rays, and that's what actually does the process to purify the water. <clears throat> and they say what that does is it activates it activates the oxygen that's in the water. So one of the more recent uh, things I read recommends that you, uh, before you fill the bottle all the way up, is shake it up real good for about a minute. And what that does is sell those air bubbles. It incorporates a lot of air bubbles into the bottle. And then you go ahead and fill it the rest of the way up and go ahead and uh, set it out ready for the process to begin here. Now if you're somewhere that you don't have a, a roof or something like that to lay the bottles on, well, you know, the sidewalk will work. You can lay the bottle on a stump. You can lay it on a rock. Preferably if it's a dark, darker color, that's better. But definitely you don't want to stand it up. You want to lay it down because we're trying to get as much coverage from the sun as it goes across the sky you want that sun to be able to hit it all the way around as it's going across the sky. So we want to get the maximum exposure. It's the UV rays, the UVA rays in the sunlight that actually does the work of killing the, the harmful uh, uh, organisms in the water. Okay, now if you don't have a corrugated roof, and I don't, you have an alternative way you can do this. And what we do is we simply lay the bottle down on a for example this is my roof of my shed here so I'm just gonna just lay some rocks or a piece of wood between them or whatever uh, just something to kind of space them apart a little bit and to kind of hold them in place See that? just like that okay 
So there you have there you have a layout on the roof so you can see if you had a bunch of these two liter bottles you could purify you know gallons and gallons of water every day just with sunlight. So anyway uh, here I am I'm on the roof of my shed here and as you can see by all the footage here you know if you really needed to purify a lot of water at once you could do a whole bunch of it uh, in one day and uh, one thing to consider is if the day is partly cloudy they say long as it's no more than half clouds during the day that um, that it's still uh, one day will do it if it's more than that then they say go two days now of course the disadvantages on cloudy days or rainy days you're not going to be able to purify water but on days that are sunny this is an inexpensive uh, and effective way to do this and very very well certified uh, it's used uh, been thoroughly tested and used in uh, developing countries all around the world to provide an inexpensive method for clean safe drinking water and uh, we'll have details on our website and a blog and on some other information on there so that you can uh, get some documentation everything for all the details but you know dysentery cholera giardia uh, all kinds of other bacteria and viruses things that can make you uh, sick to your stomach or, or ill or you know all, all those kind of things uh, is all taken care of by this even uh, they talked about uh, even uh, you know fecal matter in the water all that sort of thing all the germs of that is thoroughly killed by this process so this is something that you can use for preparedness in case of emergency uh, with your own self or your own family so this is uh, Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation where we are simplifying survival.